Guys, more than it has been in a long time, cash is king when you're buying a house. Now, what I mean by cash, not necessarily paying cash for the house, which by the way, that's always awesome, but we're only seeing that maybe five to 10% of the time. So don't worry, if you don't have cash to buy the house, still do a mortgage, that's totally normal. By the way, we don't even need 20% down cash. When I'm saying cash, what I'm talking about is cash in your pocket for one of a few things. If you commit upfront to covering at least a portion of the appraisal in equity, that's gonna make your offer stand out in a huge way. And also, I've seen a lot of people waiving inspections, so you kinda of go in blind. I don't love that strategy. What I've seen a lot with my clients is doing inspections for informational purposes only. So that way you're walking into a home, you really know what you're getting, and if you have a couple dollars that you've kept in your pocket and you have radon, which might cost you $1,200, you know you can cover it or whatever the other fixes are that Mr. Inspector and Mrs. Inspector say, hey, you're gonna have to deal with this either this year or sometime in the next couple of years. So cash is important. By the way, if you've been considering buying a house with 20% down, maybe you buy it with 10% down so you get to use some of that other cash, again, to make you look stronger from a standpoint of, waiving the appraisal or covering some of that appraisal in equity or going over asking or you know big deposit, big down payment, that sort of thing. So lots of stuff to talk about here. If you've got any questions about that or you're thinking, Jeff, I haven't heard any of these strategies before and I've been looking for a while and nothing else is working, maybe we should have a conversation. I'd love to help out if there's any possibility of that. So give me a ring, shoot me a message, I'll talk to you soon.